Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you the games versus all Twain for the win in the qualifiers that we recently played. So all Twain for the win, a really good team. They have D2, Rav, Mr. Fish and Minus Spen's old teammate Cerulean. So it's going to be a really interesting game here. It's very really important. We basically both need to win this game to qualify for the next stage. So let's jump right into the first game. Okay, so jumping into map one, game one then. So starting off with Brubo on penalty kick here. The bands are going to be Sprout, Ems and Gene, I believe. So yeah. Sprout is a global ban. We ban M's and they ban Gene. So Jackie is in play. That's when you see Poco like tanks from both teams here. Nice play from Samantha to take out Cerulean. Showing off a little a nice 1v1 then. And we can score. I'm close to Bear here or already have Bear. Nia is so good with these bans because, yeah, you basically play like so many tanks and Nia is just amazing against tanks, really. I'll get my Bear here, chuck it on D2 and use a stun and it just starts melting him. I already have another Bear back. And, yeah, that's just insane value. Again, stunning Mr. Fish here. Well played from Semantic. We can just push up here and spend, I believe, pass this to Semantic here. So a nice pass from him. He puts it in and that's an easy first game in like 40 seconds to pick up the win. So let's jump into the next game. Okay, so moving in to map one game two then. So that first game was over incredibly quickly here. And they actually swap up a few things here. So they're going to keep the Poco. But they go with the Daryl instead of the Frank. And they go with the... Jackie here instead of the BB, so we just stick the same comp. Like, we know this comp's so good with Nita, counters the tanks, and it's just really good in general. So, yeah, we're not using Jackie. Like, you don't really need to use Jackie as long as you have like a lot of tanks, and as long as you counter Jackie, it's fine. So, I had to chuck my bear then to and stun D2, otherwise, he probably could have scored that. I managed to chuck the ball away here. Spen heals up, heals up to stay alive then. Semantic knocks back Mr. Fish then. Amazing knockback from him. Literally saved the goal then. Right on the line just knocks him all the way back and allows us to stop that goal. See, I have super here. And actually, all my team have super. D2 has super here. Saroon has super. And also, now that Poco super, get a really good stun then on both of them. Just a really good value for that gadget then. Again, I'm probably close to bear again. Semantic takes out Cerulean for um, like the third time then, I think. D2 rolls on me here. I missed a shot then, like I hit the wall, so I ended up going down actually. But I did pick up my bear. Semantic is just absolutely killing it. He's a like insane BB. And you'll see here, I think he tries to score. I'm not 100% if he actually scores this. Looks like he doesn't actually manage to score that because, yeah, um, the Daryl rolled, so he got stunned and he couldn't score. So we have the bear again, gonna stun D2 Rav again. Not the most insane value that time, didn't really get um, many hits just because Thruden helped out D2 Rav to take out the bear then, but we're still probably pretty close just because, yeah, Nia's just really good against Daryl. I actually didn't have any stuns left, so almost could have made like a misplay then, and he could have rolled past my bear and potentially scored. We have another bear, and we just managed to sneak that goal in then with 45 seconds left, so yeah, a nice little goal then to go one and up with 40 seconds left. I have Bear here, so yeah, we should be able to win this pretty easy. Me and Spen are pinching them here. I'm gonna chuck my Bear. I don't have any stuns, as I said, but yeah, I just get healed up here and actually stay alive for so long because of Spen just constantly healing me. Chuck my Bear, maybe not the best Bear again, just goes down pretty quickly. But yeah, Nia's just so fun to play against kind of these double tank comms. D2 Rav's gonna roll. We can just pass it up and score for an easy win in the second game. So that's the first set. Let's jump into the next set. Okay, so jumping into the second set, then, which is Siege on Nuts and Bolts. So, actually, a really nice map. And yeah, we're gonna start off here with mirror comps. Like, this comp is so weird. You definitely would not see this comp if Gene wasn't banned here. We lose the first bolt just because we didn't have the best spawn then. Honestly, we should probably be playing Frank and Semantic should be on BB after that performance. Like, that was so good. We actually knock soon away from spend shot then, which probably cost us, but we have good control here. Nice takedown from Semantic and spend on the left hand side here. They get the first bot, but you'll see this comp. B is just all for defending and yeah, everything like that. So it's not good really to, I mean, yeah, B can't really do much, that much on offense or defense. So it's pretty easy to defend. You'll see here, me and Semantic just going on defense. Spen is just um, looking to get some shots on the enemies here. Just because, yeah, he can't do anything on defense, as I was saying. Get a really good defense off then. I'm going to look for a bubble here. I actually tried to hit Fish once, I think, with this bubble. Uh, I'm not too sure when I chuck it. I chuck it then. So I hit Fish once, so he's actually one shot to Spen with a normal attack here. I think I go down because I missed a shot then somehow. And Struden stays alive on a 500 health here. Manages to get that bolt and also baited my teammates out really well. But Spen takes him out eventually. We have control as well for this last bot. And 
As I've probably told you many times in Siege, you want to get this last bot here, especially with these comps like this that we have at the moment, really low damage comps. You'll see here, I think I go down, but I bring that bolt back, which is really important. So Rulian just runs into the zone then, <laughs> never should do that, and he just goes down so we can get this bolt here. Um, Sven takes 92 rad, it's just insane, B, B is just insane, all the walls have gone down, and you're playing against tanks, you can literally just ultim all your shots when they're slowed and take them out very easily. Sven, it takes out fish then, which is a really, really important kill, because as I was saying, like, B is just incredibly strong, and definitely the best player here. I'm not him back then, and yeah, get the better on my lane then. Sven is also doing a good job. Fish, you'll see, he actually blocks his shot with the gadget, so yeah, nice play from him then. You see, I'm just taking out Surin on this right side here, just about, and with those kills, we end up with the last bot here. We've had um, the second and third bots, which are a little weird, but yeah, that's only because we hold uh, control for the whole game. But yeah, they had first bot, didn't get any damage from it, so we're going to be able to win this here. So I actually get stunned, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, we have a lead here, and there's no way they can really win this. We... The only way they can really win it is maybe if they get a BB bubble and then like a few other shots on their safe. But yeah, they can't do that. So we're not able to pick up the win in the first siege game now. So let's jump into the second siege game and see if we can pick up another win. Okay, so jumping into the second game then on siege. So we're one nil up here um, in the game and also one nil up in set. So if you win this, we're gonna be two nil up here. We actually switch our comp up to counter their comp, whereas they stay the same here, which was definitely a mistake. Never really want to be running the same comp two times in a row. It gets a little bit predictable, and yeah, it's definitely difficult here. I'm against a Frank, which, yeah, is bad for me. Um, yeah, BB versus Frank is definitely a hard matchup. Luckily, though, we kind of swap lanes. So, yeah, basically here we have the Barley to counter the Frank and the B here. Obviously, BB, you need BB. BB is so good right now. And, yeah, the Darrow also counters BB and Frank. We get stunned then, but he goes down for it. So, not the best stun then. Um, Spen actually rolls in, gets like 30%, so a really nice roll from Spen then, just doing a lot of damage then, and we already have for like 40% done in one push, and I think that was like a, a couple bolts on that robot, maybe even just one bolt, and yeah, that was a, definitely a really good push then. You'll see I actually get knocked back then, and on this left hand side, I just pick up that bolt, and look to get a shot then, but don't end up going for it in the end. Me and Spen are both on this lane here, we... Just staying on the slam, not really sure why, but yeah, <laughs> we're just staying there. My bubble actually comes back and kills Mr. Fish then. Um, kind of pretty lucky, but yeah, if you keep cycling bubbles on the safe, then you're eventually going to get lucky. We actually draw them, which is actually really, really bad for us. You, sh you shouldn't really um, draw the second siege in that position, because basically, like, we just need one bot to finish it. So, like, if we get the last or the second one, it's going to be good for us. But yeah, draw is definitely bad, because it's like an all, um, all to play for situation, kind of. So, yeah. We just don't want it to come to that situation, and yeah, it's really bad. So we get this bolt on this left hand side here. So man gets hit by B, especially when the map opens up, it becomes really difficult for us. I can't really push a Frank, like, it's a pretty hard matchup for me. Spen's doing a good job though versus Cerulean. Mr. Fish as well is being taken out by Semantic. We actually managed to get this bolt on the left, which I believe just wins it for us. We just about kill him here, and managed to, yeah, get that bolt in the end, and that... In the end, in the end, like wins it for us. We also get another bubble off on the save, so we did manage to win it in the end, even though we didn't play that well. Um, so yeah, we had the two bots. Obviously, there were only two bots, and yeah, we're gonna end it there. It looks like they're gonna try and defend, but obviously they have <laughs> nowhere near enough damage to try and defend it at eighty percent down. So yeah, they're just gonna give up, and that's gonna be the victory in the second set. So yeah, let's jump into the next set, which is a bounty on Snake Prairie. Okay, so jumping into the first bounty game here then, on State Prairie, so you'll see here, pretty similar start, we obviously have the same comps, this comp's just ridiculously good for this map, you'll see we get the first bolt then, we actually start backing off here, they stay pretty aggro here because we get our first bolt, yeah, you can't really sit back, like if you just sit back then they're just going to open up the map, it's going to become a lot harder, so they try and destroy a gadget here, which they do, I think Spen gets another gadget down and then, so we can start working towards our super, see I actually already have my super here, which is really, really nice. Um, mine's down on the right, so yeah, the whole map is open apart from kind of this left side here. So once we get this left side down, we're gonna have to um, like comfortably pick up the victory here because once the map is just completely closed off or open, sorry, yeah, it's hard to come back into the game. So you have to push the enemy team, and yeah, you don't know where they are on the grass. It's like Australian knows there's mines there, so he's kind of trying to dodge them. We open up that right side because we know that Tara is like somewhere there, but we weren't exactly sure like, exactly where. So here I see they're not really scanning this right side. Bow's in the middle, and yeah, I can try and pull them here. So that's what I'm looking for. Looking for like a double pull potential here, and I see it then. Take it and get to rule in 
Um, good play from Mr. Fish and to jump away. I would have got both of them. But yeah, that's why I don't pull Brock like on on his own. If yeah, if I do that, I can just jump away. So I just do that instead. Just pull the bow and then obviously Brock has to waste a gadget as well. So that works out nicely for us here. We have a three point lead and also I have super here, so it's looking very good. So Matty is getting a super as well. So that's good for us. Cerulean just manages to stay alive then actually. Um, just dodges the mine. Looks like Spen. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it hits that mine then. So Matty actually missed miss most of that super then and then goes down to cerulean spen goes down to a pool i luckily clutch up and get a pool on the tara then and tamati just walks straight up here trying to take down cerulean on 99 health ends up going down and yes yeah, a 6-6 six, six tie somehow we managed to choke that that lead we had as get ended a tie so let's jump into the next game okay so jumping into map um, three on bounty here so yeah obviously we drew that last game pretty intense game somehow we choked it yeah we definitely should have won that as soon as you get the lead you shouldn't really um, lose on this map spend gets really low here so i'm trying to like push up to um like help him get back here and I actually end up getting pinched by Surin and then Surin and mr fish so nice kills from them but you'll see what we do really well here is we don't just let them sit back and get their supers we play this really aggro here spend almost takes down mr fish but yeah he jumps away Definitely thought we had that kill them, but they are super weak, so we can just push up straight away pretty much. So, uh, so we're just trying to catch Samantic out here because obviously he has the vision where as Cerulean doesn't. It looks like I get caught cool off guard by the Brog then. It hits me a few times, but yeah, we're okay here. Bit of a bad super from Samantic. We definitely could have got some more value, but Mr. Fish wastes super as well. We pull Cerulean just about then, and yeah, we take him down then, so now we have a two-star lead here. We can just get back, so definitely a nice play from us. We do get hit by the Brock then, so we do feed him super a little bit, but he's going to get a super anyway with the gadget, to be honest. I don't actually know if we have any gadgets here, but yeah, we definitely should just be charging our supers if we did have a gadget. So I'm guessing we don't have a gadget here, because otherwise we would have used them. We definitely tried to, we probably used them actually while we are getting control by it. We know they're on the left side then, so we're going to try and break it up with a semantic super then. I believe I'm actually really close to a super here, because I did just hit a super on the bow. And I've hit a few chip shots as well, so yeah, we're pretty close to super, I believe. And just trying to get a few shots here for that super. You see, I get my super then. Actually, trying to sneak up on the Brock. We actually almost go down here. Um, we actually get really fortunate that none of the Brock shots hit. Because, yeah, we definitely could have been hit by one of them. Looks like, yeah. Okay, so they have super now. Pretty even. Like, both Tara supers. No one else has super. You'll see here. I wait for D2 Rev to um, push up a little bit. Going to take him out then. And also take down this pet. We also managed to, yeah, just team wipe them. So 10 to 2, we end up picking the victory in the second game. So we just need one more win now to pick up the match win. Let's jump into the next game. Okay, so moving into the next game then. On bounty, so we just won. So we need one more victory now to end the match and qualify for the next stage here. So both Tara gadgets are being used at the start here. Bo obviously knows where I am with that vision. I'm trying to push around this side here, spend. Just managed just to get our bolt because Mr. Fish was actually really weak. We also destroy the gadget as well, which is really good for us. They're trying to do the same thing that we did to them and like not just give them supers and try and push up and keep them pressured back here. But yeah, we already have our supers here and it doesn't really work out very well for them. Semantic almost catches Mr. Fish out. Somehow that super doesn't hit. Yeah, that was crazy. I really thought that super should have hit. Then I actually super Cerulean and he gets really lucky then. Maybe a wasted super, but you can get your supers back like ridiculously easy with these gadgets. So... Um, whenever there's like an opportunity to pull someone you definitely want to take it it's gonna sit in here for another like probably 10 seconds and gonna get my super back so it's not too big of a deal wasting a tar super like it would be in a normal game for example on like brugge or something where you want to get really good value so we can just stay on this left hand side here waiting for semantic to get super here to open up that left side makes it a little bit easier for us because we always know when they're pushing us like here we're not 100 percent um, sure when they're actually pushing us. It looks like the camera here is actually not showing what they're doing, but yeah, it's gonna hover up there now. So we can see that Tara is on the right. We break that left hand side then, but Mr. Fish has super, so we have to be careful for that. I'm not sure what I do here, but I can potentially just sneak up on Cerulean and take him out. I do actually go for a pull on him then. I may actually almost go down to this mine, but yeah, that was definitely really, really um, <laughs> lucky for me actually that I didn't go down then. But then Cerulean was on like um, less than 100 health as well so he was definitely lucky as well so again we're just gonna be charging our super here which we can't even do anymore because they took down the gadget mr fish is low here i believe we sneak up on him take him down and then we get a double pull here 
on Cerulean and D2 Rav to end the game then. And yeah, we take down Cerulean. No way they can actually come back in this game. And that's going to be the victory in the final game then. Okay, guys, so that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, that in the end. It was definitely some really close games then in Bounty, but we did pick up the victory. We won six games, um, drew one, and lost zero against waiting for the win in the semi final. So it was definitely a lot easier than the quarterfinals versus Clash. But nevertheless, well played to them. They played really well. So yeah, apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.